pay attention, Bond. Meet Freddy, our new weapon in the fight against fuel pump prices. It's a barbecue! No, Bond, but it is a simple device. It takes waste vegetable oil and turns it into fuel for your diesel sports car. There's a simple procedure to follow, but even your limited attention span can keep up. Can I wear the rubber gloves, Q? Oh, grow up, 007, and start by pouring methanol into the top vessel. Slot in the container of sodium hydroxide powder, connect the air supply, and bubble gently. This is the bit I really like. Filling up the barbecue with the waste oil and heating it up. Fancy a fry up cue! Well done, Bond. And you've drained out any water from the bottom of the warm oil. And that's your cue for mixing? Cue! Okay. Now, add the chemical from the top vessel to the warm oil in the bottom vessel. Connect the air supply and bubble gently. Time for a martini! Shake it, not bubbled! Switch that immersion heater off, Bond, and kill the air supply. Now, leave it alone for a couple of hours. Then you can drain off the glycerin layer that has settled on the bottom. Lovely! I can use it on the compost heap! Right, Bond, let's clean up. Add water and turn the heater on. Oh, and reconnect the air supply, would you? Gently! Big, slow bubbles, please. Now, leave it alone. I suppose I drain that dirty water off now, do I, Q? Yes, and after three wash cycles, it's clean and crystal clear. All we do now is disconnect the air supply and leave the heater on for a while with the lid open. Then, it's ready to go straight into your car bond. Splendid! But what about my turbo diesel engine cue? No damage to the engine 007. And your performance? Up to the usual standard. The only difference you'll notice is you'll be smoking tires at a fraction of the cost per gallon and doing your bit for the environment. I'm friendly with Robin Williams, I'll have you know. <laughs>